Dean, do you know what a palindrome is? Oh, yes, a word or a sentence that goes forwards as well as backwards. So Spells the same thing? Yes. Yeah, like Mum, Dad, Glenelg, yeah. or what Adam said to Eve, Madam, I'm Adam. Yeah, exactly, the same thing backwards as forwards. Well, you can have numerical palindromes too. Try one. Uh, I want a number. I suppose 373? Yeah, 373 in yeah. either direction. That's a numerical mm. palindrome. Or 14541 would be a numerical palindrome. Right. Okay, there's a very easy way to generate numerical palindromes and it's extremely good for mental arithmetic. Try this. Think of a two-digit number. Um, 47. Okay. Reverse it. 74. Add the two together. 47 plus 74, 121. 121. One. It's a numerical palindrome. And it's amazing how often that happens. Take a two-digit number, reverse it, add them together, and you get a palindrome. Try another. Um, 23 plus 32 makes 55. It's palindrome. palindrome. Okay. What about, uh, it may take more than one step. Try 19. 19 plus 91 makes 110. That's not a palindrome. No, it's not. But reverse 110. Uh, that's 011. Okay. Add that to 110. 121. Back to where we started. Palindrome. A palindrome. Curiosity. Now, Rob, with two-digit numbers, when you reverse an ad, do you always end up with a palindrome? Well, it seems that you do, although you don't always do it as fast as we have. Uh, we've taken one step or two steps, but if you start with something like um, 89 or 98, you can go as many as 24 steps before you see it come out. Usually you do it within five or six, but whatever you do, stay away from 196, because that will probably palindrome eventually, but although they've been churning it out through computers for thousands of reversals and addings, it hasn't palindromed yet. See how you go. I want to know.